Father will bless you. Teach us your word in the name of Jesus. Um, this is Rema part nine. I'm still on my I'm still on my jottings from Pastor John Anoseke's teaching. You know, they could not catch Daniel with women because it won't work. They even checked his time of coming to work, but still they could not they could not find anything against him. If you have an excellent spirit, it will reflect in how you do what you are doing. Are you punctual or inconsistent in what you are doing? Check yourself. Those with an excellent spirit have emotional intelligence. They won't bring a family problem into the work, into the work they are doing. They won't transfer aggression because their emotion is balanced. Some, you know, some people allow the issues of work to affect their family and some allow the issue of their family to affect their work all these are pointing to a lack of emotional intelligence excellence is not in confession it is found in your precision in your in your accurate dispense you know in your accurate dispensation of your duties with no mistake daniel did not even have his own business he was serving and overseeing another man's business yet it was noted for excellence many people don't care when they are serving other people's business they do it anyhow but they want to be more productive when they start their own it won't work that way that was why the man that was given one talent did not increase it he did not want to work for others that you are working for somebody does not mean you should not put your best it doesn't mean you shouldn't you know it, it doesn't mean you should not put your own life into what you are doing it is how you work for others that people will work for you so don't wait until you have your own that person you are working for work for the person with all your mind do all do all you can that's how god will now that's what will make god bless what you will do that's what will make God bless the fruit of your hands, even when you start your own. If before you stand alone, you are not faithful, when you stand alone, you will suffer from unfaithfulness. If, because even if you choose to be faithful, those that will come to work for you will give you the same thing you give to others while working for them. When you serve a master, do it as though it is unto the Lord. Do it faithfully. Joseph was so faithful in Potiphar's business. In Potiphar's business. You know, Joseph was so faithful in Potiphar's business that the man committed his entire business into his hands. And even his household was under the command of Joseph. The only thing that Joseph was not given rulership over was Potiphar's wife. Apart from her, Every other thing was under Joseph's control. Joseph did not allow his experience to affect him negatively. He was not blaming his brothers for selling him out. Neither was he blaming his father for sending him out. He did not even blame God for not protecting him. Nothing can stop you except you. Nothing can stop you except you. Even the devil does not have the power to stop you if you don't give him a chance um this these are my the following are my jottings from apostle romeo sai after you know after cain killed his brother abel he departed from the presence of god and went ahead to form a city in that city there were structures put in place to take away men from god that was where the first polygamous marriage was cited. If you live in the city of Cain, after some time, you will discover that you are far away from God. He left, he left the presence of God. That was Cain now. Cain left the presence of God to start up a city that will operate apart from God. That's why many people who were firebranded came to certain territories and they came you know and their fire became cold 
their fire was quenched because the system in their new location was designed to take them away from God. Because Cain departed from the presence of God, he began to fulfill the desires of Lucifer, which he had in heaven because he was casted out. You know, because Cain left the presence of God, he began to fulfill the desires of Lucifer in heaven before he was casted out. Though even Cain himself didn't know he was responding to Lucifer, but all this became possible because he departed from the presence of God. Once you depart from God's presence, you will begin to respond to the desires of Lucifer. You may not know, but that is just the implication. It's not a, it's, this is not about your will now. You will be working for the devil without your knowing. You will think you are being zealous, but that thing you are doing, you are actually working for, for the devil. There is a place to work for God if you really want to work for God, and that is in the presence of God. If you learn how to stay in the presence of God, whatever work you do, you are doing it for God. But if you move out of his presence, you will be walking with the devil's vision unknowingly. <laughs> in the city of Cain, because the system was built to take people away from God, if you sin, people will celebrate you. But if you choose to follow after righteousness, you will be mocked and criticized. Cain thought it was his dreams. He was executing with passion. He never knew it was the devil's intention he was, he was bringing into a reality. When a man departs from God, his life will be open to several demonic manipulations. Even against his will, people like this will do many things against their will. Genesis chapter 4, from verse 1 to 26. We must be able to discern our assignment. God may increase His grace upon our lives as we continue faithfully with Him, but it is important we stick to our assignment and not deviate from it. If you are called to be a teacher of the Word, as you continue faithfully in that calling, God may add the gift of prophecy, healing, and so on to what you have. No matter the addition, stick to your assignment. A teacher should not begin to do healing crusade. When healing is not his assignment, you can be teaching and God will heal the people. As a teacher, you can even finish teaching and pray for the sick and they will be healed. But you must not, you know, you must focus and not shift your assignment, your, your, your focus away from your assignment. An increase in grace does not mean a change in assignment. An increase in grace does not mean a change in assignment. That your grace in God has increased does not mean your assignment from Him has changed. From kingdom perspective, promotion means more responsibility. When God sees faithfulness in the life of a man, His measure of grace will be increased. I pray that God will find us faithful in what you are doing for him, in the name of Jesus. This is the wisdom of God. Don't sell it.